What's up, Wolverines? I'm David Fernandez. And I'm Bauti Burns. Welcome to the new WBLN In The Middle. Intramurals have always been a big part of class spirit. This week, intramurals begin with the seventh grade class of 2027. Michael Concepcion was there and brings us this story. Yesterday, the class of 2027 held its first flex intramurals. Intramurals is where all flex classes pick teams to compete against each other. I think it's good for the kids to be able to have a time where they get to play, uh, enjoy each other, uh, work as a team, and just a time for them to release after a long day of studying. And I think it's good for them to be able to just have a moment of a break where they get to play together and enjoy each other and have fun. The seventh grade class played ultimate frisbee in the gym. The class of 2026 will face off on October 4th of next week. I feel like they're an important time where we get to spend fun time with our friends yeah. and enjoy fun things that we get to do every single day. For WBLN in the Middle, I'm Michael Concepcion. Thank you, Michael. Guys, guess what? This month is Respect Life Month. The Respect Life Club is holding their annual diaper drive. It runs from October 1st through October 20th. All diapers must be drop off, dropped off at the campus ministry office. October is the Respect Life Month, we've decided to do this diaper drive, which will run from October 1st through October 20th. They're gonna be donated to the Lotus House, which is an organization that helps homeless women and their uh, children and babies. And they usually, uh, we usually deliver them there so that they can benefit from this, uh, from the, the diapers we collect. Singer Billie Eilish has teamed up with Nike for two new vegan Air Jordans. Yes, you heard that right, vegan Air Jordans. Eilish calls them an O to herself. She chose lion green for one pair to match her one iconic green hair. The other shoe is tan. They are made with at least 20% re recycled material. The sneakers cost $170 and are available next week on Eilish's online store and Nike's website. A new series of animated short films now playing on Disney+. Plus show a very different perspective of the world of Star Wars. Jacob Estrada reports. Long ago, a great warrior came to this village and entrusted our ancestors with this. Star Wars Visions is a series of short films showing the galaxy far, far away through Japanese animation. <laughs> Japanese cinema Heavily influenced the original Star Wars, the nine vision films offered creative expression to seven anime studios. Star Wars in general has inspired so many filmmakers and uh, animators and creators in Japan. So it's kind of, it's great to like have something be exported and then re-imported and hopefully, you know, it'll be exported again. And it'll just have this great creative uh, circle of life. Uh, Lucasfilm approach to the Japanese studios. Please tell us your uh, own perspective and your story in the Star Wars uh, galaxies. So that's how the project started. This is an opportunity to kind of redefine what type of Star Wars storytelling we can do to be able to explore different things. Something ancient and sinister. Star Wars Visions features voice cast members from Alison Brie, Neil Patrick Harris, and James Hong to lifelong Joyden Fisher. A lover of Star Wars, both canon and non for really a majority, if not my entire life. I don't remember a time being a kid where I wasn't wielding some makeshift lightsaber of some sort. I accept this responsibility. From WBLN Studios, I'm Jacob Estrada. Wolverines, I'm Milo Figueroa, and here are your sports for today. Yesterday, our Wolverines played against the Westminster Warriors right here at home and won 38-6. Amari Irving, Sean James, and Eddie Puyas all scored to put the team up with a comfortable lead. The Warriors failed to convert a two-point conversion. Congratulations to the team. They play True North next Wednesday at Tropical Park. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. Speaking of football, a team that doesn't get a lot of attention is the sixth grade football team, but Jai J.I. Rasco tells us otherwise. Oh, 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 oh,
These Wolverines cannot be defeated. Their second previous game, they beat Gulliver 26-0. These players have gone from rags to riches. Fun, you could form a brotherhood and you could have friends for the rest of your life. Look forward to it so I could try my hardest to get some touchdowns. For some players, their passion has grown and they look to keep playing in the future. Yes, I actually, I've never played football before. Um, I joined the sixth grade football team, but now that I've joined, I've found that it's one of my favorite sports and I would like to continue in seventh grade. If you want to see these Wolverines in action, you should go to the next game next Wednesday at Red Sun. We're pointing from WBLN. This is J.I. Roscoe. Thank you, J.I. The middle school golf goal team played some heavy hitters yesterday in our district. In a field of six middle school teams, the Wolverines finished a first place as a team and out of 29 players. They secured four positions out of our top nine. Belen Jesuit, 171, Gulliver, 198, Westminster, Christian, 200, West Ransom Everglades, 183, Palmer Trinity, 224, and Fisher Island Middle. Yet leading the Wolverines was Ryan Nieto, 27, with a score of 38 and three birdies with a first place finish in a field of 29 players. And Matthew Gonzalez, Marley Cottle, Dan Daniel Garcia, Marco Machado, all finishing in the top nine. The team raises its records to six and one. That's all your sports for today. Now back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Milo. And thank you for watching this new episode of WBLN in the Middle. Thank you for watching and stay golden, Wolverines.